Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. It's uh, high noon here uh, near Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia, Canada. And I'm going to show you around uh, my awesome, our awesome garden for Grow Food Not Lawns. So, you can see like this is <laughs> my height and uh, the sunflowers are now doing awesome. Look at him, he's way even taller than my husband I think. Um, maybe I'll just jump across the road. So you can get a real view of everything here. So that's what she looks like from across uh, the old highway, Highway 333. And let me take you for a little tour. So, you know, everyone, a lot of people have questions why do you go food on your lawn, uh, the front lawn? And well, a couple answers. Uh, our front lawn is the only place in our yard that gets full sun. It's south and also I think food is more beautiful and way more awesome than grass and uh, you gotta water your grass and mow it anyway so why not just throw some seeds down do a little bit of weeding. So here's our kale and lettuces. Right. Got some decent sized lettuces happening. There's the, this is the second corn patch. There's three rows here. <clears throat> nice and tall. It's the best I've ever done with corn. Here's my, a lot of my beans. Hello, buddy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, summer climbers, summer bush beans, some tobacco, midget melon. Another little tobacco plant, and somehow a squash plant got mixed in with my beans. Don't ask me how. I don't know. Volunteer sunflower, another volunteer sunflower, another volunteer sunflower, and then this is just all kind of gone to uh, pasture. Beautiful lilies. I do love flowers still, so I put flowers with with food, food with flowers. Our taters, as you can see, are ready to harvest, and I have already been harvesting taters. Just beautiful, huge poppies, which I'll be saving the seeds from. And inside here is corn. Uh, there are beans. And there is some squash that I planted a little bit late. And there's a little bee. Here is a patch of Cosmo flowers. They can get about uh, six, eight feet tall. I planted them a little late. They are gonna be just beautiful. A few more volunteer sunflowers. Uh, so you can see some corn in there. Here's the sunflowers that I planted first. So they're just, just starting to open. And then of course, Mr. Huge Guy, putting everybody to shame. Hey, what's up with you? You're turned the wrong way. Well, maybe not. Just doesn't want to be like the crowd. And here we go. Yeah, so this is going to be just lovely. Uh, there's Cosmos. I planted Cosmos all in front of the sunflowers. I just love these flowers. They really put me in a happy mood. Just love Cosies. They get so tall. They're so beautiful. Here's my kale patch. This is kale uh, from last year and it's a biennial. So last year we had kale. This year we're gonna get the seeds. Uh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. I tried to cut it down so many times to let it produce kale instead of seeds, but it, it has won the battle. It didn't care. It was like, cut me down all you want. I'm growing seeds, so yeah, whatever. I love saving seeds anyways. I have a bunch of kale seeds. And uh, there's Swiss chard in there, all in there too. Hopefully a few are getting established enough that they'll survive the winter. We have a pretty mild winter here in Haggard's Cove, Nova Scotia, compared to the rest of Canada. Uh, a couple more late squash plants. A few onions I put there. The crazy peas, which are nearing the end of their season. And here, you know, a radish that uh, I didn't notice, I guess, and it's going to seed. So, I, I mean, I love seeds, and look at the the beauty of the radish flowers, right? Gotta save all these seeds. Um, so I have squash happening. You know, squash is going on here. And uh, 
I planted beans around my sunflowers, but this year, last year I planted the beans too soon and uh, the corn overgrew the beans. This year I decided to plant my beans so they'd climb up the sunflowers, but I let the sunflowers get too big first before I planted the beans. So next year I'll do better on that. Look at these poor little guys. Give me some sun! <laughs> Beans don't need much sun, but they do need a bit. Um, the squash, I've been taking a lot of squash. A lot of zucchini, but you know, I got more on the go. It'll be going for a while. Some more squash I kind of planted as an afterthought. Looks like it's not doing bad though. And uh, you know, more corn. There's more sugar peas. They're so good, I'm pretty sure my kids are getting sick of having peas as a side for dinner. And another monster squash. And look at this. Still some lupins flowering. That's so nice. So, Mr. Squashy. I think my kids call this one Daddy Squash. I think this is Daddy Squash. Okay. That's a nice piece of one. Probably grab that one for tonight. Uh, Brown eyed Susan that seeded itself. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Over here is my come out my front door and get some lettuce. So there we go. And more lettuce here as well. Love lettuce. Of course, more cosmos. <laughs> the peas wrap all the way around the hot house. <laughs> Look at this, six minutes long here, and I'm not even past the front yard yet. Uh, another beautiful brown eyed season. I've had this for maybe two or three years now. It's apparently a short lived perennial, so. It'll die off, I guess, but it looks like it's doing a very nice job reseeding itself. So this is the view from my front porch. And I, in September, like we have a beautiful long extended growing season here in Nova Scotia. It takes a bit to get going, but I mean, September and October, there are still summer months here. We were down at the beach in November and there was people surfing there and having fun and we we're all in our shorts and stuff. So, you know, we're just getting going here really. For the growing season. Here's the hot house. Uh, this tobacco plant. Hi. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Way taller than me. <laughs> uh, my banana peppers are getting a little bit of a slow start. Got, uh, got one there. <laughs> Jalapenos. Uh, you know, habaneros. Hot, nice, hot, spicy peppers. Got some more peppers happening there. And green pepper. So let's take you to the back. The hostas everywhere. So I always gotta take you to say hi to the chickies. <laughs> take you to see the chickies. So look at my greenhouse right now. So it's afternoon and uh, because of these massive maple trees here, which, you know, we would never ever think of cutting down, uh, the greenhouse stays shaded um, till about one. One, it starts getting full sun. But I mean, the shade is perfect for these guys. Hi, everyone. Hi. And then a bunch of chicks. We have 36 chicks now. Whoa, you're making quite the noise. You're probably thinking it's noon, it's your treat bowl time. So, over here, some green beans. Been harvesting those like crazy. More green and yellow beans. And wow, more things that are taller than me, way taller than me. <laughs> the Hollyhock Festival. Wow, this is like my beacon that says, bees, bees, come on in here. Come to the greenhouse. You're gonna love it in here. <laughs> the greenhouse this year is mostly cucumber and tomato. So, got some cukes happening. Sure got a lot of tomatoes happening. Um, they're all green. Like I said, this greenhouse, it just doesn't get enough sun. There's a, a pumpkin that I guess a seed was in the compost that I put all through these gardens. So it uh, volunteered and I left him because you know, just gotta step over. There. We're all good. So, so, so. Got some chives back there. 
Oh, hi, Mr. Spider. Uh, <laughs> lots of tomatoes everywhere. Like I said, things are just kind of getting going. And beautiful cucumber plants vining and growing up and all through everything. Tomatillo plants. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, okay. So, I haven't done that good staking things in here this year. I've been kind of busy with with other things like chickens and meat birds and stuff like that. So, this is just going wild. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. That flower just seeded itself back there. It was a flower I had a couple years ago. More cukes. Strawberries have stopped now. Yeah. Tommy's everywhere. Hey. Nice, uh, nice cucumber starting there. I don't know how many pickles we'll do this year. We kind of want to maybe just eat them as cucumbers this year. Because we still have pickles left over from last year. It's cray cray. Oh, trying to get through there is madness. So yeah, some, you know, sh sh things are going wild in here. I'm just letting it go wild. <laughs> That's what I have to walk through. There's my chickies again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, let me take you to the back gardens and then we'll be through here. Oh, I just feel so calm now that I've walked into the greenhouse. I just love it in here. Step over Mr. Pumpkin. Oh. Oh good, okay. So we got uh, a later patch of taters here. You can see the onions mixed with the uh, carrots are doing great. Four beds, carrots. And uh, maybe that bed's a little weak. <laughs> Winter squash over here. We have spaghetti squash. And uh, wow, you look like you might need some water, Mr. Butternut Squash. A pumpkin that was trying to grow in the greenhouse and I transplanted it. As you can see, it's just not as big as the greenhouse one. More chives. Beans, the boys and I, or not the boys and I, the boys. They planted those just a little while ago. And outside. Tomatoes outside. 